little Marie. You're so fast. Just popped up out of nowhere. Come on. Alright, well, we've got lots of pumpkins now. So we've zipped through and poked most of the gardens. I guess we can poke over here really, really quickly. On our way home. <gasps> Another Oddish! Okay. Squirtle. Ah, uh, probably not the best one to use, but... Come on, come on. We want to see if we can catch this Oddish. Where are you going, little one? Oddish. Come on, don't be shy. We want this Oddish. Alright, let's see if we can clear the grass away a little bit. There we go! Alright, give it just a gentle little tackle. Squirt Gun is still sleeping. Oh, that's fine. Squirt Gun! Squirt Gun, I forgot you were asleep! Wake up! Wake up, Squirt Gun! Squirt Gun, you're getting tackled! Jeez Oddish. Louise! Oh my gosh. Okay, use a little bite. Okay, Oddish. good. And use another Oddish. tackle. Oh jeez, it's really taking you out. Let's see if we can catch Oddish. the cutie patootie now. Because it's another Oddish. Oddish to add to the family. It's a male Oddish. I guess we should look up the ratios of what Oddish. what like Oddish ratios we have in our garden if we're trying to breed them. Yes, so we caught it! Oh, wonderful. Just wonderful. I guess we're going to have to go find a swamp. Because maybe watermelon will be in the swamp. Oh, look, there's wild pumpkins. All of that work. Well, we could have just come over here and collected the wild pumpkins. Let's just peek down here. Okay, we're good. Man, okay. Oh, well, at least there's more flax over here. So hopefully we will be able to make a bigger pack now. But we saw some amazing things today. We really did. We managed to observe a lot of interesting wild Pokemon behavior. There's a trainer that we're going to ignore. Little kid. Sorry. My Pokemon definitely need to go home. They are not feeling their best, so we're headed on home. Alright, come on. Oh, now I'm not feeling my best. Ah, everybody's so hungry. Everybody's like dying of hunger, including me. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful in this land. It just totally is. All right. Of oh, whoa, Fartfetch. I don't think I've run into this guy just yet. Okay. And I have nobody. I have nobody. I have an Oddish and a, a worn out a worn out War Turtle. But I want to put him in a little leek garden. I want him to be surrounded by leeks. Maybe if I move quickly. Can we? Oh, wow! Did you see that evasive leap? Oh, this isn't gonna end well. <laughs> oh, a full resource. Um. Hmm? Dang it. Super potion. Let's try to keep you alive. This probably isn't gonna end well. Oh, good. It was just a sand attack. Alright, let's see. Um, do a bite! Water oh, you missed! It's okay, it's okay, Squirt Gun. You've been working so hard. Try again. Another bite. Oh, well, okay, Water not very effective. Turtle. Let's try Bubble. Alright, okay. You're clearly very sleepy and doozy, and who knows what kind of Water effect. Oh, oh, that's not alarming whatsoever. Look at that Fartifetch as it just, like, leaps into the sky. Is there, like, no way? Can I try? We've hardly done anything to it, so I don't think we're going to be able to catch it whatsoever. Ah. Oh. Alright. Eh. We're going to- we're not going to be able to do this. Oh, but I want it so bad. It really- oh, no. Creeper! Let's run for it, Creeper! Come on, Creeper! Okay, well, maybe we can, like, absorb? Oh, wow. This is a very evasive... Evasive Farfetch. Oh, you're so cool. Why can't we get you? Why can't we get you? Oh, man. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, this is this is not getting anywhere. Oh, my gosh, please. <laughs> this Farfetch has just served me, like, my lesson. It is totally... Totally being so cruel right now. And now it released me. Oh, I'm sorry. I've learned my lesson. I'm going home. All my poor Pokemon are worn out, beaten up. There's Magikarp everywhere. There's beautiful berries and thick grasses. And 
and I would love to study these Pokemon more, but you've got to take care of the Pokemon you have, and mine are totally feeling it right now, so we need to run home. Who's that? Oh, look, we found a little colony of Drowsy. 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 Oh, there's several. Oh, my gosh, Sharbok, hi! Yeah. Apparently, they're fighting over maybe eating the Drowsy. Yeah. No, they're fighting drowsy. with the Drowsy. So, yeah, they might have been fighting over eating the Drowsy, and the Drowsy yeah. defended themselves. Wow, there's a lot of Arbok here. Let's get out of here. I'm, I'm probably a tasty-sized meal for Arbok that are that big. <laughs> All right, let's run down. I'm so sorry, my whole crew. I've, I've made all of you pass out and die. I'm so sorry. The good news is we return home with pumpkins. But I don't know if that's really going to mean that much to everybody now that they've been passed out, knocked out. It's so sad. All right, let's go over. Oh, there's a Stantler. Hello, Stantler. Oh, I love studying just the wild. Whoa, and falling down a chasm. I really need to finally build that path that I keep going. Oh, yeah, we'll build the path. We'll build the path. Because it's just getting ridiculous. All right, let's pop over here. Oh, my tree grew. Hello, tree. What a... There's some little eggs cute. I really need to think about how we could get access to eggs. Maybe taming some Pidgey and just keeping, like, the, um, the raw eggs. Where am I going? I need to heal up my team. There you go, team. You guys did such a good job. We managed to get so many new friends to add to our world today. Oh my goodness, the hearts. The hearts seem to be increasing. Gloom loves Firewolf as- There's an egg! There's an egg! journey was to get more more stuff so that we could hatch our little egg who laid the egg oh my gosh okay Scyther no offense I just egg egg what will hatch from this it doesn't seem close to hatching we're gonna have to walk with our little egg we can bounce our little egg you guys I am so excited we have an egg <laughs> that totally blew my mind because here I was totally thinking that like we needed to get more things over Bobby, here Bobby. before they would oh my gosh there's a second egg are you kidding mm -hmm. me Bobby. Bobby. oh my gosh they laid two eggs <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness okay let's take this egg and we're gonna put it over here so we know that it's an oddish egg we are successfully having a breeding colony of oddish you guys Bobby. Okay, there were two of them. Oddish. Oh my gosh. So I guess Oddish, Oddish, Firewolf, and Gloom Oddish. were all kind of mm -hmm. feeling the love. I'm going to put Oddish. down more pumpkins Oddish. to see how that makes them feel. Oddish. How you feeling now, Gloom? Just a tiny Oddish. bit more involved in, in the love dove. Alright, there. And we're going to leave them because mm -hmm. I think it's going to be like... um. Now they need a little bit of time. Cooldown time before they'll lay more eggs. But we have two eggs, including one that we're carrying right now. This is the best thing ever. I'm so excited. So excited. Well, that was an interesting, definitely an interesting journey. We need just like, oh my gosh, is that a Snorlax? Dude, get off my roof. You're going to collapse it. You're not exactly a petite. Oi. Nearly sent Flight up there to knock him down. Jeez Louise, he's going to make my roof collapse. Whew. And we also need to work on preparing for our, our Pixelmon Ranger Academy, which is another thing we need to work towards. There we go. Got a little bit of my paper. So the Pixelmon Ranger Academy definitely needs to have uh, some work devoted to it. But the only question is that um, I'm not sure where to build it just yet. And we're still struggling with so many of the basics. So let's actually pop back home. I'm so excited. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Flight, help! Actually, oh, sucker punch. Flight! Flight! Smack him. Okay, that wasn't very effective. Smack him with wing attack. What? No, Flight, wake up! Sweetie, wake up! Whoops. Okay, we ran from him, little jerk. I swear, those haunters, they just like taunting us. All right, we'll pop back over. Oh, fudge knuckles. All right, creeper, you can do this. Use acid. It's not going to be very effective on this guy, actually, now that I think of it. 
come on, good job. Oddish. Good job, Oddish. You can do it, Creeper. Let's teach this little spider. Like, it's like crawling on my face. I could just feel Oddish. it. Totally not cool. Alright. Alright, can we do anything a little bit more effective, perhaps? Oddish. Alright, uh, maybe Sweet Scent. Throw it off its game. Yes, evasion was decreased. Oddish. Because now, now the spinner act is a little bit distracted by the adorable chemicals that Creeper is waving around in the air. Oddish. This is a very slow fight. Definitely not as effective as when we... <laughs> you know, I guess we don't have a spinner act yet, but I really need any string it might potentially drop. Yes! Good job, Creeper! And you're to level 14, and I got a string. The ever so vital string. Oh, good. And our copper or our cotton is ready to harvest too. So let's see if we can expand our our research pack because it is just ridiculously hard to do so. And we just need like a couple more tanned leather too. So first things first, get a little bit more string, and then all this flax can make more string. Man, we should have just been collecting that the whole time. No, wait, and then we have to do it like this, where we put these like this, and these like this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> We're still so close, it's so far away! Ah, We just need like a few more string, and then we'll be able to expand that area. This is why we need, we need more materials. Um, and really, we need to start having a storage house, now that I think about it. To store all of the food and the other research material we run into. Hmm... Hmm. Building another cute little house like this would actually be pretty cool. I think I might have to buy, like, room for a storehouse? Should I just dig down in my house? Maybe I should just dig down in my house and, like, continue to go down. And we can make a little storehouse. That might be a good idea, too. Hmm. I think for now what I'm going to do is put a couple more chests over in the other room. I do love my house, so I would love to be at my house more often than we are. There we go. I'm gonna put a couple chests right here. There we go. Maybe one right there. Yeah, check that out. All right, let's uh, go ahead and we're gonna put stuff away. Like extra stuff. Like a lot of the food is tons of extra stuff. Oh, let's make some nice tea too to celebrate like being here. Oh, and I'll put the beauty berries. We'll make like a little beauty berry patch over by the, um, over by our super awesome Pixelmon Ranger Station. So we'll get that done. Right. Who wants to come out? Hey, Creeper. Creeper. Oddish. You're doing so good, Creeper. I'm so proud Oddish. of you. All right. So let's see. Yeah, that kind of empties all that out. Man, I can't believe we're still Oddish. short on the string. Maybe we need to pick a fight. Hey, little Zubat. It looks like the Zubat is probably pollinating my berries right now. There's a wild Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime. I really wonder what's up with Mr. Mime sometimes. Like, what they do, what their purpose is. Yes. Pardon me, sir. Okay, Mime. that's fine. I'll, I'll wait my turn. Pardon. Alright, then let's come over here. Hmm. Here's another Mime. spinner act picking a fight with us. Oh wait, sweet scent is not going to work. Oh wait, it did, yes! Alright, let's use absorb. Oh jeez, it has leech life! Help! Alright, let's just go ahead, trade out. Um, Ember! Go, Ember! The sunlight is bright. Ember, use Ember! Yay, we got another string! Okay, actually, let's just buckle in. Come on, creeper! There you go, sweetie. And we're gonna have Ember roam around with us. Come on, Ember, sweetie. We need to look around more in just a second for more of the aggressive little... There we go. See, that would be so yummy. Like, we need to look around for more spinnerack. Are you on the hunt, Ember? Do you do you smell a spinnerack? Are they hiding up here? Oh, what a nice view. Good eye, Ember. Do you see any up here? It's very potential. I never thought about climbing the tree to get, like, a view of what's going on in the area. No wonder the Pidgey like my tree so much. It's got a great view. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful sunrise. Good job, Ember. Alright. Let's climb off the, the roof, though. We need to go hurry and find some of these nocturnal Pokemon in order to collect just a couple more string, because it's really holding up our expedition abilities. 
I guess we should just collect a bazillion and a half flax. Oh, just focus Mime. on that. Mr. Mime. Hey, Meep. Little Meep is here. The Ghastly are still out. But it looks like... It looks like all of the spiders, the arachnid-type Pokemon, have retired for the night. So that's okay. Oh, Ember. How's our egg doing? <laughs> We're going to have to carry this thing around forever. Ah, but that'll be fine. And Ember seems to be doing well. So I think what we're going to focus on now is getting Creeper uh, leveled up and evolved. And then we'll also focus on trying to find a mate for our absolutely awesome, absolutely handsome, absolutely wonderful little Ashley. Bye. I really want to see if we can get him a little herd of his own. And that'll be the next... Uh, Next exhibit area I want to work on. So let's check in. Oh, hey, there's one, one over here. All right, Ember, you ready? You ready? Whoops, sorry, Ashley. <laughs> I meant to speak to Ember about about this. All right, Ember, go. Why let's see if we can get the string. We okay? Why that's title? not. You're not Ember, <laughs> Squirt Gun. <laughs> I'm glad that you are eager to participate. Why title? But you aren't exactly the one I had in mind for this battle. But you know what? You're proving yourself. So good job. That is such a squirt gun thing too. To be like, no, I want to go out. And just like force his way out. Oh, that's so funny. All right. Do we have enough string now? Oh, the Ghastly are fighting. What could Ghastly fight about? Yes. And you guys, any of these biological questions on Pokemon, if you have ideas, yes. write them down. Tell me. Oh, there's another one. All right. Let's try this again. This time... There we go. Now we've got Ember. Ember, come on, sweetie. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. Ember, go. All right. Just a quick little, quick little imp. Okay, good, good, good. Nope, we didn't get the string. There's another one. Sorry, dude. I really need the string. All right, scary face. Okay, going, going, going. Plus these guys uh, do cause some issues. Oh man. Ghastly. Oh dear. And there's a ghastly. Oh, and look, there's Lapras and Dakota. Ah, but yeah, if you guys have ideas on the biology of Pokemon, write them down. I do write them down. They go into the books. Eventually, uh, I'm going to make sure that we will have a giant library dedicated to all of your guys' observations and we'll do amazing things because we are expanding the world of Pokemon as has never been expanded before, except by other really awesome, cool people who thought of this. Yes. So that we can try to see what the biology behind them is and develop the world on an absolutely awesome level. Oh my gosh, do, can we actually make a bigger backpack now? Is this actually going to happen? Yes. Dun dun dun. This would be amazing, you guys. This would be amazing! Also, we need to clear that ghastly out. It's gonna set the cows, like, tip. it's trying to cow tip. It's trying to cow tip the poor moo cows over there. Oh, so rude. So rude of it. All right. And, you know, we just have to help our neighbors when we can. So you line up the tanned leather. <gasps> and I was just going to upgrade our ranger pack, but we could actually just get a big ranger pack. <laughs> and had two packs. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. I'm just taking this one. Woohoo! And then we can just, like, dye it. Um, if I can find something that'll make green dye, like this. Then all we need to do is just like that, and then just like this, and now we have, now we can call this one, uh, Adventure Pack. So this is our big adventure pack! No, 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 specimen! Specimen, uh, Selection Pack. Sweet! And then we have little ranger packs. So this will be like our trail mix, our extra potions, our extra pokeballs, uh, things that we just need, like more shears and stuff like that will go in here. And then we've got specimen backpack now. Yes! That's going to help so much with our expeditions and our exploring. And that's just going to be fantastic. Good job. Good job, little cottons. I'm so proud of you. We'll just co keep collecting them too, because we might need more packs as time goes on, just because there is so much to cover. Ah, so that makes me happy. Is this my book and quill? Is this where it went? It's my field notes! I was wondering where these pages went. Let's see, that was Tsunami. That was the Bamboo Forest. I was wondering where my field notes went. We haven't written field notes for a while, and we observed a lot of wild Pokemon behavior recently. So let me see. Oh, Day 1 Journal 2. Oh, it's been so long. 
All right, we all, let's let's reread what the last day's entry was. Day two, we spent much of the day wandering the forest looking for delicious mushrooms to trade to Mia, who runs the Pokemart in Mossbark Town. We not only found tons of delicious mushrooms, but we also were able to name our young female Vulpix and help her get her feet under herself with battling. Her name is now Ember, and it turns out she has a strong dislike of bug Pokemon. Oh, I forgot about that. She really does. No wonder when that little spinner act jumped all over my face, she was right on it. A Joltik tried to bite her, since they are the electric tick Pokemon, and she promptly burnt it to a crisp. Later, she helped us to gather much string by taking out any bug types we ran into while gathering more mushrooms. Also, a note to self, get an adorable Paris. Oh, I want one so bad. We witnessed two level 20-ish Pikachu battle it out along the banks of a lake near our town. They were diligently fighting, and in the end, the larger Pikachu won, despite having lost most of the fight in the beginning and being a lower level. Does size matter in, these ter in the territorial battle among these small rodents? We better not suggest that theory to Battery. He'd probably shock us. All right. And so we're going to call this Day 5. Uh, let's see. Specimen pack. All right. Now we'll just have to do it manually. Day 5. After much exploring in the apple orchard and plains next to the ranger station, we were able to gather plenty of flax and several pumpkins for our projects. The flax was to help us to make string in order to make a larger back, uh, backpack so that we would have enough room for the many specimens we run into during our expeditions. They, uh, we also learned well, let's see, when did we catch that Jigglypuff? We did catch a Jigglypuff! Oh, we need to study its songs! That's gonna be so awesome. We also learned, while exploring, that the flax is very fragile and has to be collected with shears. There we go. And then, what else did we learn? Um, okay, we were able to sneak up on a small Jigglypuff and added it to our uh, let's see, family, group, uh, collection, specimens, um, what would we call these? What would we call these groups? Uh, and added it to our, um, ranch, I guess? Ranch. I guess we're just gonna go with the word ranch for now. Added it to our ranch, uh, thanks to, I think, uh, I think, was it squirt gun? Squirt guns help. Uh, hopefully we will be able to spend some time analyzing its song without passing out and see if the songs of various jiggly puff from differ let's see different areas are different or if there is some similarities despite the jiggly puff having been born and raised in different areas. So there we go. And then we also saw, we also came across a group of drowsy fighting, was it drowsy? Drowsy, I think? Fighting off a large pair of Arbok. Do drowsy live in groups? And why were there two Arbok, let's see, is it Arbok? I think so, fighting, or hunting together, hunting the drowsy together? Do they hunt together as a mated pair? Or do these reptiles have a social structure? Very good questions, fellow Pixelmon Rangers. Also, great news! We came back with the pumpkins to feed to our Oddish Grotto Oddish to encourage them to breed, but they, ma they managed to breed all on their own. We now have two Oddish eggs. I am carrying one to hatch now. Oh, I'm so proud. Also, the flax string, a uh, spider, or arachnid, I should say, arachnid. Hmm. 
that's spelled wrong, string and cotton string was enough that we now have a larger pack. Hooray! Thank you, Ember. All right. So those are some good notes. I really need to keep up on the notes because we come across so many amazing observations. And we have done so much, you guys. So next up, trying to catch some more Mignium so that we can get a whole herd of those guys going and getting another ranch block set up so we can have a nice open plains area and start a herd for Ashleaf. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.